It's a story of a cosmic adventure of two kids and their grandfather and their cat. Uh, they basically embark on this adventure to find a way to grow up more quickly. They live on a planet Nopter, which is somewhere in space. And the kids there all suffer from slow growing syndrome. So they want to grow faster and how do they find out that, they, uh, that there is a method of growing up faster because they look at the animals, they look at the cat and one day you have a kitten and in a few months time it's a full grown cat and look at the kids, they grow up very very slowly so they know that there's a method of growing up faster and some, some people know it, like the cat knows it but they don't so they try to research it One of the reasons why we don't pay too much attention to children's publishing and to children um, as readers is because in our society, we tend to ignore the importance of investing in children. We think as parents that if we have sent them to a good school, our work is done. I'm not a child psychologist, but somebody has to explain this to the parents, to, to children, to school administrators that you have to have a very, very uh, focused approach to reading for fun and, and you know, make, make, your, uh, make your kids develop reading habits at an early age because it will make them more complete human beings. It's okay, we can not have the music. In the role of a publisher, I do approach this question of how to publish for kids, what to publish for kids, and in what direction do you want to take a children's publishing program. But as, as a writer, I, I, I give myself absolute license. I want to write what I want to write. I'm not writing with, with a predetermined you know, outcome in my mind that you know, this is going to reform the society, no. This is going to you know, give us some good laughs and that's, you know, that's where my work ends.